We're gonna hit the market. We're gonna have the market. Gonna get some groceries for Kai. It'll be good. And get get a fucking um, sticky rice with Tara. I'm from now. I'm from the southeast. Sandy Market is epic. Um, I used to work there for a while at the Southside store. Um, we sold Dickies, Carhartt, and Lokes, and a whole bunch of merch for different like like Pacific Islands and shit. We got the big Samoa, the Tonga, all that shit. We had we had it all. It was the spot. I was living in the car then. I had a little like alarm for like 20 minutes before the shift started. So I'd wake up, I'd park right by the market in the morning, like at night, wake up at like 10 minutes to go and just walk out and head straight to work. Nah, I was born, born in Nam. Yeah. Yeah, born and raised in Nam. Parents met in Oz. Uh, my father was born in Zambia, then moved to Mauritius and then uh, he's Mauritian, but he was born in Zambia because my granddad was there. My mom was born in Oz, but like first generation, so everyone came straight from the islands in Greece. Yeah, there's a big Mauritian community out, and especially in the southeast. Um, there's a whole lot of Mauritian cats out those ways. Um, just a big African community in general. So yeah, I kind of miss that. I miss I miss that community. I guess I started cooking back home. Like I grew up when my grandparents' catering business we used to sell Mauritian food, and we'd be at like all the African festivals and like. So like, ever since I was like 10, we were just around that kind of environment. My grandmother told me how to cook. The, the thing was, I tell goodness, and it was I tell food from the African diaspora. So it was like any place that we had been, types of food that were just naturally plant-based already. Remember this shit? Yeah, that's already vegan. Like, you be eating this shit, you just don't really recognize it. But yeah, a lot of I tell stews back then. A lot of, yeah, a lot of Mauritian food. I'm also looking for the easiest shit for me to peel so I don't have to fucking have a mesh. Rice and banana. <laughs> Thank you. So we've already gone to two fucking spots. We've no luck. I'm trying to find these Chinese assorted mushrooms. Hopefully Lim, Lim should come through. Finally. Yeah, I started working at Verona and that's where I started chefing, like in an actual kitchen that wasn't like my makeshift stuff for my grandparents' catering gear. And that obviously had its difficulties because it was Verona. But it was great because I got to meet so many beautiful people. I met Dylan. I met everybody over there. It was nice. It was a nice spot. Like a waiter. <laughs> so it's gonna give us some like much needed umami. Some like real rich, savory buzz. Use all the mushrooms. So we're just gonna half it. If you got giant ones, you can quarter them. adding gochujang now. A little 
that girl cook off a little bit. Degrees for 45 minutes. 